Hi guys, this is Mega Man Dragonoid playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. There we go. A little bit less pale. We're here also with Shira. Whoa, my Hi voice guys. cracked. My voice somehow cracked. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. Sorry, I'm feeling a little bit down the weather today. Of course, we have Justin here. Yeah, just uh, heard everybody. his minor on Twitch. <laughs> so yeah, hello everybody. <laughs> We're gonna do this entire trial today, and if not, I'm still going for it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Take him and date. <laughs> December thirty nine forty one a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Five. I don't feel up for saying it uh, this time. Only I do, but this time no. It's okay. You don't have to say it every time. True. Good morning, Max. Oh yeah, good morning, sweeties. Don't seem like your usual sparkling self today. I'm always like this before I get in front of the audience. I'm working up to it. Uh. Oh. Don't get nervous, Maxie. Here, have a glass of milk. Vegeta! <clears throat> How fabulous, my sweetie pie, my sweetie pie princess. You came to watch my performance today? Of course I did. Mom told me that I should come and watch this. Who said that? But what kind of performance will you put on today? Let me guess. You fly at the end? Oh. It's not that kind of show. Isn't that right, my sweeties? No, it's the show of OBJECTION! Objection, objection! Huh? I think my sweetie by presence doesn't. Yes, he doesn't seem to realize what's going on or even where she is. Hmm. Max, it looks like it's time to raise the curtain. See you later. Today I'm just a member of the audience. Fabulous. Enjoy yourself out there. <laughs> Good luck, Max. You're the best. Gina's different, don't you think, Nick? Top of the morning to y'all! No, 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 no. You, that, you know who that also said? Jack shut his eye. Top of the morning! My name is Jack shut his eye! And welcome back! <laughs> Everyone, let's get ready to... to stuck in a li legal limbo! How low can you go? Oh. Top of the morning to you all, you governor! Uh, top, top of, of the, the morning. morning. My name is Mode Clown. Don't clown around! <laughs> <laughs> That's the ticket. Taking, attacking the morning starts with an energy in the morning. Early bird, catch the worm. And then again, the worm lacks higher brains function. <laughs> Here, Max, I brought you a present. Have some milk. Why is everyone oh, giving them milk? Thanks. I don't know. <laughs> so how are you today, right? Oh, I got a feeling today I'm gonna face off the real culprit. You mean Agro? Huh? You think he did it? Be careful! He used to put his life on the line, literally. He got guts to spare. So all I have to worry about. How thin the tie ropes is, I used to this already. Means that I won't be able to press him like I can others witness. What are you going to do then, Nick? I guess today I have to without our usual psychology warfare. They will rely on evidence. It's the only way we can get past Agro to the truth. Right. It's gonna be tough. 
Anyways, I want to get... want to make sure that Regina seems... sees it all today. It's important. Didn't she finally have to, to deal with the reality of what happened to her father? You sure you want to make sure Regina watches? Yes, that's all I, why I brought her here today to court. What's that supposed to mean? She needs to know what that when people die, they don't just become stars. I mean, being an old fashioned club, but I don't believe people believe in people becoming stars. There's only two oh, options. Buddy. There are actually three options for that. Well, you tell go, us. You go to you go go to the heaven, or you are stuck in a soul, floating around uh, somewhere in the world to look for what you actually need, or you turn up in a hell. It depends all the judgment for God. I see. Court is now in session for trial of Maximilian Galactica. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Miss Von Karma, you may proceed with your case. The prosecution will like to revert this previous theory of events. What's the meaning of this? We have discovered a new witness. Or shall I say, a new eyewitness? Once that saw Maximilian Galaxia fly up from the scene of the crime. Order, order. I had a feeling something like this would have come up. To receive him, we are now prepared to explain how the defendant flew that night. The explanation of prosecution will present an easy area. Why just? In fact, my detective stayed up all night, uh, creating a mock-up of the scene. On my orders. Or a gumshoe. Very well, please call your witness to the stand. Time to get to work, or should I say time to walk to court. Room tight rope. Hey, look, there's Justin. <laughs> Name and all cooperation. Ken Dingling. But everyone calls me Acro. I'm employed as an acrobat at the very big circus. Where were you tonight of the crime? I was in my room that night. Yeah. <clears throat> if you look at the map, you will see the witness's room is near the crime scene. My room is on the third floor. The crime scene is below my window. Hmm. Glad of the crime, the witness saw something quite shocking. Would you tell us a mind you witnessed? Okay. Well, wow, right testimony without the judge saying it. Great. It was just after 10 p.m. and I was resting in my bed. Around that time, I heard a loud, large thump noise from outside the window. Then, a few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from behind, but that's who it looked like. To be honest, when I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. Hmm, the way the testimony matches up exactly with that of the clown. In the, that is the case, there is a little, very little of prosecution need add. Oh, that lets us explain how the defendant disappeared into the sky that night. Before we get to that, I like to cross-examine the witness. 
A foolish choice by a foolish fool who wishes to feel foolish sadness of a sad fool. Oh, God. Five. Five. A man must know the proper timing for things, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Just like your old friend, Mr. Miles Edgeworth did. So cannot drop it. Great. Mr. Wright, do you have a problem with the witness testimony? In words of Ms. Forncama, I might quote yesterday's proceeding. There's no way that it actually happened. Very well, you may proceed with your cross examination. Okay, we press on the number four. A one, one, two, two three, three. There we go. Oh. Light in your room was turned off then, right? That's true. I was going to bed after all. Uh, when with the lights turned off, you were still able to clear see the, a human fly by a window. Just safety lights not lit up things up enough for me to see. But honestly, there was only enough light for me to see this silhouette outside my window. Safety lights. Hold a minute. Hold horses. If Do you remember seeing safety lights there? I don't remember seeing safety lights there. Yeah, but if we take a good look at the window and the shadow on the ground, something doesn't add up. See what I mean? The window shows the bottom of the... Well, of the... Of what the cape looks like. The, sh the shining light was actually shining uh, above the floating one, so it was some kind of a... You could call that trapezium that it was floating up. But somebody is pulling it upside that it's like he's flying. Is that it, true? That can be true, but it, he said he's flying and he can be flying on his own. And Mexigel Sia said he used stage rope, basically, very in rope that's very strong. Yeah. And I think this was also attached to a uh, string rope that somebody used. Yeah. And make the spotlights that everybody see this uh, thing floating. Yeah, but I'm thinking also if if actually he sees it the, the shadow is supposed to be on his wall already yeah because i'm on the second floor and if i'm gonna look at the lanterns outside they just reach the below part of my window Mm-hmm. yeah and i'm on the second floor now let's turn it's the first floor but yeah don't count so he must have the shadow already against his wall then. Or it must be one of those stadium lights they use on circus or on uh, football stadiums. Yeah. Somebody attached, of course, uh, to let it float. Yeah. At least the new yak truck is out. What is out? The yak truck. Oh, nice. The last, the last one for the Dragonkin themed. I think you're gonna like it. Okay. Bro? Alright, well, I was waiting for you guys to finish talking. <laughs> oh, we kind of did. It was, it was the person's back, so I couldn't see the white roses on the front. I might. Do you see any other symbols? Uh, 
I clearly saw the silk cat, as well as a cloak wrapped around his body. Hello? I'm convinced that the person I saw was Max Gal Galactica. Hmm. The more I press, the less results I seem to get. Maybe there's something fishy about this last testimony. There's a huge contradiction with this testimony that was just given. Is there a contradiction? Then prove it with evidence. Hmm, she's right. Let's see some evidence. Do you have uh, evidence to support your claim of the contradiction? This silk hat. You claim to have seen exactly the same thing most of the night. Do you stand by that? What do you mean? The silk hat. What about the silk hat? I saw it on Max's head as he flew by my window. Oh, you should have tried looking down off of your window that night. That would have been quite difficult considering the state I'm in. Just looking outside of the window was a tough enough challenge for me. That's a shame because you should have noticed the silk hat found on the crime scene. The, that's the ringmaster's hat. Right? Not exactly controlling. I'm feels a lot better now, actually. Oh, there it is. I'm afra afraid not. No matter how you look at the at the it, this is Ma Max Silk Hat. Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Are you saying that Max has two silk hats? No, this is a handmade, one-of-a-kind model made only for Mexican Galactica. Which means aggro. But you have been fibbling on the stand. Order, order! Objection! As always, it looks like someone just had to open their mouth before thinking. Do -do -do. Are you okay, Nick? Well, I opened my my big mouth and now I have to back it up. How about Mr. Wright? What should cause this witness to commit a premiere in this court? Your Honor, on this occasion, the defense accuses Agro himself. You want to say, bro? I was going to say, you probably should say it before you made that accusation. That's a pretty big accusation. <laughs> well, let's say I do know the answer. On this occasion... Accusing Agro? What in the world are you accusing him of? Apparently... We accuse him of murder of Mr. Russell Berry. Glad that thing is like uh, very low for him. Yeah. Mr. Wright, are you serious? Deadly serious, Your Honor. <laughs> I think your trips to the circus have served you well. You seem a little bit learned now to try to gap an audience heart in minds. Your Honor, don't allow yourself to be swayed by tactics. Trying to wow the crowd with smoke and mirrors is the oldest bluff in the book. Really? If you don't believe me, just look at the witness. He's calm enough for Dudu almost to be scary. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. 
And he's staying rather calm and collected. Mr. Dingling, do you have any response to the defender's accu accusation? I don't really need to say a thing, do I? What do you mean? Everyone, take a good look at me. I can't even stand up by myself, let alone leave the lodging house. That's true. I understand that Mr. Wright is just trying to help his client. But to do this by accusing me of a murder of all things. <laughs> Even a lover of common sense makes clear of all conventions ludicrous. You try way to pick on a disabled. Abel, your heartless crew, man. Phoenix is a poopy hat. <laughs> See that, Mr. Phoenix, right? If you're trying to drum up the support of the peanut jeller gallery, that's how you do it. Uh... I think that's enough of this little game. I got the doctor's note to confirm that April is unable to stand under his own power. Maybe the defense is planning on making the claim on Carl Tardis as well? Oh, I can hear the defense now. Echo had an accomplice. What do you say about this, Mr. I did have an accomplice. Of course he didn't. Now then, this must be when we hear the name of mystery accomplice. Not this time, Von Karma. What? what You're not going to sucker me into this one. What are you babbling about, Mr. Wright? There is no accomplice. Agra planned and committed this murder all by himself. Order, order! What the? What are you getting at? Way to keep them in their toes, Nick. I just have to go into proof how it all fits together. I have to show how Agra murdered Russell Barry. Can you do it, Nick? Can you really do that? I know what I can do, and I can't stop now. If I stop attacking, I'm doomed. Alright, then let's do it. Mr. Phoenix right. If the Swift is a killer, then his eyewitness accounts are lies, right? Hmm, Mr. Wright, I would like to see you clear something up for me. When did the crime committed? Where was Mr. Dingling? Like he said, in his room. Well, he's obviously here the entire time. That's Agro's room. Pretty simple, eh? Echo wasn't able to leave the lodging house by himself. In that case, there can be only one correct answer. Agro didn't leave his room to kill the ringmaster. What? Are you nuts? Oh, I like some nuts. Can I have some pistachio nuts, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What are you saying? What do what are you say, Mr. Dingling? Wow. Mm. Talking about selected. It's an interesting theory. Um that's it. Considering that what you propose is impossible, yes, that's it. Hmm, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. As the witness stated, your arrest is impossible. She is in a wheelchair, there is no way he could go to the scene or be the killer. Got a point. I'm only... It seems that you forgot about the chemistry, Phoenix right?
The defender was clearly spotted at the scene of the crime. The, yeah. Yeah. That's true. He saw Max, didn't he? Maya, it's still impossible for humans to fly. <sighs> Dingling, Justin. Good dingling, good dingling. Good thing Do you mind if I ask a question is right? What is it? I understand some of your logic. However, how do you think that I killed him? Christian? He's a strong athlete. He's a very strong acrobat, so he's had a lot of experience with working with strings. My theory is that he used a puppet of Max. He used a puppet himself to make to do the kill, to do the murder. That's my theory, anyway. I don't know if it's correct, but. Yeah, and it's your... If I can't leave my room, I obviously couldn't wear Max's costume. It was not actually a puppet, it was that no, stone. It was that stone statue. Well, close enough if to go with that theory of mine. <laughs> How did he do it? It's the next course of the legal buff. Hey. Be careful, Nick. If you mess up here, you're done for. Jumanji. He's right. I can't mess up here. Gotta give this. Um, serious stuff. Sure, Agro killed the ringmaster. Did it while he was in his room, no doubt about it. Time to lie to us how Mr. Dingen committed a crime. I'm going to present some evidence. What did Mr. Dingen use to commit the murder, crime of the murder against Russell Berry? That one. What's that? A picture? It is indeed. The problem is with the item that's shown in the picture. The bust? Quite a large bust, and because it is life size, also very, very heavy. Heavy? Heavy enough to guarantee a certain death. Sadly, it was dropped from the third story window. Mm. See, this is how Agro was able to kill the ringmaster. The force of, and of the gravity in Mexicalia able bust order order so you're saying the bust fell on ringmaster a rather simple crime even if you stuck into a wheelchair it should be probably used to commit it objection how could you possibly wheel a wheelchair with something heavy it's impossible 
Well, aggro is an acrobat. Should have more than a, enough upper body thing to carry something like a the bust. Mr. Dingley, how do you respond to these charges? Well... Corrupted law supports! Should be, he knows that I'm getting close to the truth. Well, 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 I grow- ah! I watch what I say if I wear you, Mr. Phoenix, right? What? You're not! Your persistent health of witness is a mental at this case! I demand it that we get proper testimony from the witness himself! Hmm, testimony you say? Karma. Using this testimony to ruse the stall for time. There's absolutely no need for such testimony. Objection! The defense has a f version of the matter. A prosecution has a right to this response. The defense objection is overruled. Fuck! I can't do the things my way for once in a while. Mr. Dingling, I'm sorry, but we need to testify about your f physical condition. If you were uh, any doubts about your... I testify, we can request an expert testimony. The witness will have no problems, however, it's let's all be respectful towards him. Oh, thank you. Ah, that woman will sink any low to win a case. Yay, more shenanigans. I suppose I could have lifted something the size of that bus. I have a strong upper body from working as an acrobat, and only my legs were injured. However, lifting the bus and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. That makes it impossible for me to have known the location of the ringmaster's head. Thus, it would be unrealistic for me to drop the bus on him, don't you think? Hmm, I have no doubts in regards of this witness testimony. If it was impossible for him to lift the bus and stick himself out of fine long enough to look. Not to mention that he could not have known the location of the ringmaster's hat. A single phase step would be enough lead even more self injuries. That was I. That's what I was thinking. Where? What's your opinion on the matter, Mister Wright? Still have my see with my cross examination. Is it please, darling? It's shameful, really. Uh, I can't let her get it to me. Got to focus. <sighs> Four times. One, two, three. There. Objection! Take that! Wow! Ah. Time for the work box. There. Objection! Acro! You didn't really know. need to know, lean out of the window, didn't you? What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? You already knew where, ahead of the time where the ringmaster head was going to be. Quite precisely, I may add. Objection! You silly hinting your thing is pointless, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes? Enough, Starling! How about you show us some evidence?
She's gonna do it. <laughs> yep, she did it again. <laughs> but, but I just done you know, such a good job hinting. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry up and explain things, Mr. Wright. Maybe you should take a lo look at this. Key point there. Here is the wooden box. Same wooden box that the victim has punched over. The same. The question is, who placed the wooden box there? What was in the box anyway? Well, Ew. pepper. And there, then in the company saw the ring now, so he, they didn't see him holding the box. Which means that this wooden box was already placed at the scene of the crime. I have to admit that your theory makes a lot of sense. The moment the bus came falling down, exact same moment the ringmaster lifted out the wooden box. Which means the answer of all the questions is now crystal clear. You, you mean... If the bus f were to fall upon the mark, with a mark of the wooden box, there will be no way if that would miss the head of the victim. N no! Except for one problem. How did he, Acro, get the box there to begin with? I don't know. Order, order, order. This is unbelievable. Finally, some of those loose ends are starting to tie themselves up. I just gotta get going, and there's no only one way to go from here forward. So the next question I ha have is, who placed the wooden box at the scene? It was Mr. Lingling, of course. Connected it to the rope, and then all he had to do was lower it down. Ah! Allow me to whip you again. Oh my god. The ringmaster's hat could have been everywhere. Anywhere. When he lifted the box. That's why well, the box was not so specifically made. Specially made? Indeed. It has a special feature. The weight of the box. The box had a remarkable weight. Weight? According to the court, it weighs uh, 20 pounds. Four. Just to lift this wooden box would it have required... Oh, I see. One should have squat down to lift it up with their body, wouldn't you say? That's exactly what I'm trying to point out. The box is also very large. Box was also carrying handles on the side, doesn't it? That's correct. Lift the bo up the box. You have squat down. Which means, no matter how who you are, your head should be always approximately the same place. Fool! What the hell? Why is he so calm? Why is he so calm? He did it for his brother! Can you even bother to listen to me anymore? Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I heard it. It's okay. It's a barf time! He's barfing. Barf. I've heard what you've had to say. Huh? I must admit, I'm shocked at your imaginative skills. You... did you do it? Did you place the wooden box in the place? Mr. Wright may have a vid vivid imagination, but I could never have done what he's proposing. What? Mr. Wright, do you recall the original location of Max's bus? Bust. 
course I remember. It was on top of the table cafeteria. Hmm, then what happened to it? Yeah, I'd like you to remember one important fact, Mr. Wright. I could not possibly leave the lodging house by myself. Okay, I had to fix fish 620. Oh, that means... You understand what I mean, don't you? I may very well have been able to drop the bus from my room. However, how would I have gotten the bus from the cafeteria to my room? You see, Mr. Phoenix, right? Explain that! Don't forget you said there was no accomplice. Ah! What a whip. Tell us exactly how the witness would have carried a bust from the cafeteria. Yep, we definitely have a problem here. This is no place to get re repressed. I gotta get my wits about me and prove how things once and for all. Alright, Mr. White, let's hear your explanation. How did the witness get the boss from the cafeteria back to his room. Monkey? <laughs> no, hang on. What? The monkey on. would. Well, the monkey would find it too heavy. Maybe. Ah, uh, monkey. Everyone knows money. He lost shiny objects and of any size. Oh, like the he stole the. And Quelga's ring. So you're saying the witness had a monkey to steal the bust? Of course he didn't order the monkey to steal it. The monkey stole it on his own and then brought it back to the home. Oh, he's now looking serious. Uh, hmm. Home? When he lives in Akro's room. Akro's room? Objection! But the bus was bronze, wasn't it? Bronze is, um, isn't always shiny. Maybe you should put the whip down sometimes and read the court records. Why, oh, those are very nice cards he is holding. Yes, and they are made of platinum, which are very shiny. Agro? Bunny is a strong monkey, right? It'll be easy for him to bring the bus back to your room. Uh, yeah, monkeys are that fucking strong. <laughs> Look at the silverback gorilla. Mm. <laughs> yes, but he's they, an ordinary they monkey. They're even able to protect a little child that fall into the era of the monkeys. Of course. Who we'll remember that news, of course. Yeah, I kind of remember too. that one. Nobody yeah. can get close to the kids. Yeah, while the silverback is actually protecting the child. Yep. If he wasn't able to handle that himself, I'd be on the market for a new roommate. <laughs> oh my god. Order, order, I said order, Miss Von Karma! Where did the boss in the question at this moment? Um, uh, uh, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're touching at us as we speak. Hmm, this is a rather strange turn of events. To say that the monkey had not, not steal the bust, where should that have happened then? Well, in that event, something else should have used as a murder weapon. Mm -hmm. Wait. So your turn. 
this bird was the murder weapon? Purified by accident? It's possible. Maybe I got some monkeys out of stolen goods and thought they would be used one of them. Mm. Anyways, oh, wrong choice. I think one more than prove one critical fact. I mean, that's the entire possibility the aggro was the murder. Moron! This right ag argument was so circular, I'm still a bit dizzy. I'm uh, spinning out of a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> However, this argument does hold water. There's no denying that. Oh! Don't seem so bamboozled, especially by this fraud of Atonori. Rot? You've gotten an absolutely most important thing, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And that, what is that? You should know. You forget that the, your fraud was a magical plan to spot the scene of crime. Ah! There's no reason to doubt the clown's testimony. That's true. How do you, how do you respond to that, Mr. Wright? Nick, don't let her beat you now. I won't. This is my chance to turn this trial around. When the murder occurred, we were two people at the scene of the crime. One was the victim, Russell Barry, and the other one was the murderer himself. And so this only this Mr. Phoenix Wright. Who was the murderer the clown saw? Maya. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's pretty funny if that happened, but now. What? Okay, that's a year long. <laughs> yeah, I asked coming. who was the other person who saw at the scene. The evidence has nothing to do with the question. Un contraire, mon frère. Wow, we're speaking French. Does indeed have something to do with the question. Who said that you saw Max Silhouette? But he didn't actually see the he man himself. It wasn't a human being he saw. Ooh -hoo! Ooh. He actually found the truth out! Ooh -hoo! I can't lose the word! <laughs> How is that possible? It's simple, really. A Mo X I you saw what in the night was Mo's bust. Max burst. What are you talking about? Have you tried using your brain and all that net keys? The silhouette he saw was wearing a cloak! There's no reason why you shouldn't attach a cloak to a bust. It will be easy to hang one of the cards in the bust hands. Idiot! Who in the right mind would to put a cloak on a bust? Doesn't matter who put it on the bust. Wait a minute now, Mr. Wright. Who put the cloak on the bust? Crazy is the most important for, to this case, don't you agree? Uh, he cut me. No, oh, he cut me. Yeah, no. no. Well, let's have no. it, Miss White. Who put the cloak on the bus? Well, it, it must have been Acro, right? Uh -uh. Remember, Russell Berry was carrying it on his own. But wasn't the monkey the one that was carrying it in the end? Yeah, that was a few days before, remember? Hmm. Fool! Him? 
Are you saying that he, he, the victim himself, Russell Barry? That's what I'm saying. He, I mean, the victim himself placed a cloak on the burst? Place the cloak isn't really the right way to put it. And what will be right up putting it, Mr. Wright? Explain your sentence. Nick, you really have to handle all on, on all of this? I'm fine, Maya. I finally put it all the pieces together. There's only one mm -hmm. picture I can paint anyways. Alright. So you wanna know what happened to that knife? But back in time. <laughs> Reverse, reverse, reverse! Negro used a rope to lower the wooden box onto the scene. Then he attached the rope to the bust. Dang on the bust out of the window, bedroom window directly above the wooden box. At the same time, the Ross ringmaster told Max to wait in his room and went to the scene of the crime. At, of course, at the time, the ringmaster was wearing Max's costume. Perhaps he didn't want to know. Recognize him at that night. Just before, as he feared, he was spotted at the entrance of the lodging house. None other than the Tranquillus and his puppet Ben and Trilo. When the ringmaster arrived at the scene, he bent it over to lift the wooden box. That's when Agro took his chance and released the rope. Oh, I see. So Ankara wasn't trying to kill the ringmaster; he was trying to kill Max. Yeah. Maybe. He committed a. He almost committed a murder scene towards Max. Now this is where when the magic happens. When the very instant of the bus hits the victim. You! Wait just a second there, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Um, as much as you try, as much as you seem, this just isn't true. It can't be. Still a little early to get upset, so... Been getting so upset, Miss Fornkarma. So you guys isn't over yet. <laughs> what? The impact of the bus on the victim threw the cloak up, which snatched onto the bus. He buzzed. The impact was also caused the sound of a certain witness heard, prompting him to take a look. <laughs> oh, 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 it's me! Boo! Lars Mo Curls, the clone! Phoenix is stalking. I know. I was just feeling like I could make it a little bit different. <laughs> the witness was, of course, <laughs> Lawrence Moe curls the clown. When Moe looked out of his window, the cloak was already placed onto the bus. Now, and completed the crime, Echo naturally went about to pulling up the murder weapon. Of course, he had no idea who saw the bus being raised, the cloak dangling on. Affirming because in his wheelchair, he couldn't see out of his window. So he went keep pulling it the bust up. That's how the magic murder disappeared and guy came to be. And the silent has broken. So silent you can hear a pen drop. <laughs> Now it's really getting silent. I was also RPing a bit. But you see, the only person who have could pull this off is the one 
on one person that was only to drop the murder weapon from above the crime scene. Agro, it could only be you. Mm. Mm. Agro's been playing mind games with all of us. Sure has, but he's come to the end of his road now. So... What now? You graced us with a rather long witness tale. But do you have any evidence to prove that your fairy tale is true? Evidence? <sighs> In this court, only two things matter. The power of evidence and the power of my whip. Wrong. Don't forget the power of my gravel as well. That's right. The prosecution brings up a good point. Can we see some evidence? Nick, they say they want evidence. This being the how that it can only be one, pos one possible murder method. Still, one something unusual about most witness accounts. Unusual? Contradiction, actually. Okay. Use that and get out of this jam. That's enough for talking among uh, uh, yourselves. Proceed, Mr. Wright. Present us some evidence that the court will bring the backs of your claims. I want hard proof that you unravel the trick, magic trick. Um. The problem is Max three symbols. You know, the silk hat, the cloak, and the white roses. The symbols were a pro numerous times during yesterday's proceeding. Just that, just that there were two contradictions in both. That silk hat was one. The white roses were the other. The theory just presented the explanation of the, all the contradictions. You fool. Do you ever shut up? Next silk hat was found at the crime scene, the scene of the crime. However, remember what Joe said yesterday. Just so the criminal was flying in the scene wearing a silk hat. There was only one explanation for that. Look out that Mo saw was actually the bust. Makes sense if you look at it that way, but he did see the silk hat, well, sort of. And you got one, but what about the other contradiction? The other contradiction? Remember what I eventually said in the court? He said that he witnessed white roses on Max's chest that night. But the clown's testimony doesn't match. He saw the bag. Fool! He saw the bag. The clown said that there were no white roses. I'd like to see you try and explain that one way. Can you do it, Nick? Of course, I can explain it all. What was that? Please recall the instance when the cloak was snatched onto the bust. The cloak snatched onto the... That is what happened to the white roses. The other side. Don't you get it yet? The cloak was snatched onto the front of the bust. I mean, the white roses would end up on the back of the bust. What way to go, Shira? See ya? I said, ah! My roses were not visible during when they were on the back of the side of the bus. 
Order, order! <laughs> this is quite the shocking state of affairs. This right there sorry, is a little bit blurred to me. However, let's keep go going down with the road for a while. See where it leads. Let's do this, Nick. That may be from Gamma. We'll finally throw in the towel. Somehow, I don't think so. <laughs> Already <laughs> happened. Hmm. Even he. What the fuck? Mm. Well, so much for that theory. Bro. Mr. Wright, do you mind? What is it? You took the time to research our circuit, didn't you? Well, uh, yes, I did. There's something making you think I didn't? If you did, then maybe you'll understand why I think you're off track. Um, why is that? Sure. Motif. This witness feels an incredible doubt of gratitude towards the ringmaster. <sighs> Anyone with any relation uh, to the circus is well aware of this. Thus, there is absolutely no way someone like this would kill the ringmaster. Hmm. Yana, I like you to hear Akro's story. Learn about his relationship with the main master and his life up until now. What do we do? There is no doubting that Akro deeply respected the main master. Akro's motive. Very well, however I feel, this is a good place to take a break. I'll listen to the rest of Mr. Testimony after recess. This court will take a 10 minute recess. To be continued! Oh boy. Or save our progress. Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. Let's get to you. December thirty, two seventeen PM, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Five. I can't believe it! Akro! Ah. Pretty shocking, isn't it? It definitely is! And to think he was always the most straightforward of the group! Kibus! Am I that hatred? Oh. Huh. Akro tried to pin up the murder on you for purpose! He, he did! Psst, psst. <laughs> but 
but but it's not nothing but a little or nobody you know but you're not it's just kind of the reason why <laughs> wait <laughs> hey pearl are you going to ignore me after all i went all the trouble to bring you some evidence Shoe. Um, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty, anyways. I know, detective. I'm sorry. Sorry. Look, why don't you relax a little? We got some really tasty milk. How about a car trick, detective? Oh, well, if you insist. Oh, how about the evidence you mentioned? How was it? How was it? What is it? Here you go. This was yesterday in Akro's room. Oh yeah, give it to us, give it to us, give it to us. Really? Yep, I included the uh, fancy results. Take a look at uh, it better. Won't this from Karma not be mad if you're doing this? Sorry, I was uh, being as well. That's why this is all a secret. Huh? Kids are, are need to know basics. And we're not really allies or anything. Everything that happened in the court until now has gone according to our plan. Oh, Miss Van Gaar doesn't seem to control things there just now. You'll figure it out eventually, pal. Just say our final plans were set in motion. Final plans? Uh huh. Huh? That reminds me, I got a message from the prosecutor for you. Nothing is truly decided till the very end. That's it. That's it all for me, pal. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. What did he mean by that? The very end part. Sure, but it's mm. all pretty cryptic to me. Oh, I want more hang. Ah, don't scare me like that. It looks like there's a large care package for the circus for the defendant. What? Me? It's milk. What is it with everyone and giving this guy milk? I don't know. The reception area looks like kind of fiery. We'll hurry up and drink it all before it's closed. An entire day worth of milk for me? And back in court we are. One is short. December 30, 2.27 p.m. District court, courtroom number two. You can't, you can't beat it me to it, Sarah. Court well, is now back in session. <laughs> Miss Von Karma, please continue where we, where you left off. I'd like to continue with Agra's testimony starting with this relationship to the victim. Hmm. 
Alex also to get proof on the defense. <sighs> What kind of motive Echo Comet could describe? Honestly, it's now, Mr. Dingling. Just yes, please. Your Honor. Please proceed with your testimony. It's a mo motive. Wait, Nick, are you okay? Do me a favor and uh, don't ask any questions you don't want to answer to. Oh, here we go. Let's start talking again. When we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Russell Berry, took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. Oh, he's the next Robin. Yeah. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Oh, that went short. Hmm, you're such a tough old young man. As you hear the witness dearly respected the victim. How oh, anyone could think that Erka could kill the man he held in such esteem? You're absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? Why, which is why there is no re need to uh, cross-examine, is there? See, there's a question I'm trying to answer myself. Should I go kill the ringmaster? In my last chance to answer that question. There's no need to cross-examine the witness. What is that? Why was the ringmaster murdered? There's no need to develop into a bit of testimony when I know the answer already. Uh -huh. Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Your Honor. I should, should I just like to you to know. Do you prove the explanation as why I grow one of the ringmaster dead? I can't prove one. Oh shit. Jump scare, I pressed it. <laughs> I want a Mac Flurry, but I can't. Yeah, I didn't have it to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor? The reason for aggro killed the ringmaster is something that can be proven. What? That's because aggro had no reason to kill the ringmaster at all. Ah! The foolish attempt to fool that foolish fools. It's the fool had to be foolish. -ish. Did she say it six times this time? Yep, six times. Yeah, six. But you forgot. To make an occasion against this witness, did you not? I believe it was. This is a real killer of a Russell Barry the Ming Master. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. End of things. Agro. You, you didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, didn't you? Ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you just I'm saying that the target? I'm saying that the ring, the target of the witness murderous plot was not the ringmaster, so it was never his intention to kill Russell Perry to begin with. Uh, 
what? Order, order. I leave. I don't care who it is. Make one of those loudest in the face twice if you must. Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do in my court? Ah! Mix right. What in the world are you trying to do this with this skirt? Are you attempting to apply that Echo was trying to kill somebody else? Hmm. Remember? Mm. Do we remember this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, bro? Yeah. That's all you that my evidence oh! What are you doing, Ayo? Yes, for there's forty more where that came from. All that right there. You can take your time out with the other fourteen later, but for now, you see the evidence once more again. <sighs> Look, I'm so so scared what of what ha will happen. I can even uh, give him the evidence. I took yeah, damage. I where are your manners, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Are you tempted to apply that Echo was trying to kill somebody else? Huh? I took damage because I didn't pay attention? Huh. Gina Barry? This young girl is the re ring my Star's daughter, correct? Ekro, you were re really aiming for her that night, weren't you? And we made the snap. Hmm. You don't need to answer that. What's a mean spider learning question? You could easily answer this question. If I'm wrong, all he has to do is say is you're wrong. That's it. That's it, Mr. Phoenix, right? Enough, Mr. Wright. Allow me to... There's only the one thing allowed to or took me. It's death itself. Oh. Uh -huh. And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix, right? Show me evidence. Now. I want to know why Echo wouldn't want to kill Regina Barry. Yes, me too. I demand to see some proof. Gosh! Where's Scooby when you need one? <laughs> Present evidence that proves Echo he was out, out to kill his young girl. Agro, you remember this, don't you? <laughs> oh, birds are flying away. Really? Birds are flying away. That's... A piece of paper that we found inside the ringmaster's steel coat. Inside the victim's steel coat? Agro wrote his note. Yeah. Arriving he entitled to the murderer. Purpose was called someone plus at 10 p.m. So you're saying that he called Russell Barry with that note? Yes, but there's one little problem. Problem? Edgar did in place this note in someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. First it was noted it was intended for the none other than Regina Barry. Order, 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 Mr. Wright. This little theory of yours. It's truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think that it was meant for her. Which is why the morning of the crime... Put it in the cafeteria bullet board. That's 
When her father, I mean the ringmaster, saw the note. That's correct. Ringmaster ended up in the pl plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of mistake instead of Regina. That, 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 that's incredible! Remember the testimony that Agro gave us earlier today? Lifting the bust and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window myself. Echo had no idea it was who it was that arrived in the plaza, because he couldn't look down out of the window to see who it actually he was. I got it, I got it, I got thought it was Regina down in the plaza. That's when he let the bus fly. Hmm. Hey Nick. Isn't Regina listening to all of this from the audience? Yes, unfortunately. It's the only way to get it har harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. I wrote this note to Regina. A foolish fool, fool, but foolish, fooly fool. You're hey, foolish. It's... You have been made sound like a foolishy fool. That were ten. <laughs> <laughs> ten in one freaking line, damn. <laughs> I was not even pressing, to be honest. Damn. Very well, Mr. Phoenix Red. Are you so sure? Then tell me about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Yes, what about that line? Well, if the note was meant for Regina Barry, it would mean that. This note is declaring that Regina Barry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? Ringmaster knew what the moment me meant, which is why he went to the plaza, the place of his lo loved daughter. Hold it right there, Mr. Wright. What is this accent? Called in the note. Accent in six months ago. I know all about it. it the incident that occurred six months ago. Now I'm more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. Moron! But are you sure this is related to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has started when it happened six months ago. Really, Nick? I, um, I think so. Well, then. If that is the case, hurry up and tell us all about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know I'd certainly like to know what it is. If I can, can't answer this question, the judge will go, going to think I'm bluffing. Hmm. Achoo! 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 What spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It isn't a joke at all. It's an evident decisive evidence that you asked for. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> called the, that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away f with him. He was b doing so because this piece of... E Desire and it was is what was inside. Not an unbelievable conclusion. Very well, Mr. Wright. But what exactly are you saying? Are you claiming Regina Barry killed someone with a, a bottle of pepper? Taking the note in account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Objection. Foolish fool who never tries on his own foolish ways. Wow, she's she's stopping with the foolish act. Is 
If you are so slow, Mr. Phoenix, right, don't answer me this question. Who was Regina Asbury's indeed victim? Intended victim. Who is this? That is Ekro's younger brother. <sighs> what does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that's true. However, Beth has been in coma for six years now. Six months now. Wow, six years. Wow. Sorry, that was missed missed a saying. <laughs> he missed a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's not a stretch to see how Agro could feel his brother is dead. Regina, did she did that to him? Do you spend your entire life dreaming up a new ways to be a fool? Naturally, the persecution has locked into Akra's brother, Seen Dingling. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion and fell into this current comatose state. A lion? Regina, I mean, Miss Regina Barry is an animal tamer by trade. However, he tamed a no tamed animal while in that position was ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. However, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's not just on her. So what happened to Agra's brother? He's not the victim of an intended murderer. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Um... Now, what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? Lion bit Bat was no accident at all. What? You're such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There's no way that Regina would ever incite her lying to attack another human being. You might not have intentionally the, the, incited the, the lion to attack the other human being, but Regina is responsible for making the lion bite that girl's brother. That's the just a scarf. Necro. Hmm. The scarf is something that Beth to wear, correct? That's right. That's right. And who is the one that gave this scarf to Beth? Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina? There's something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. And what might that be? Pepper! Pepper? Pepper. Regina gave this scarf by Beth right before the accident. And she was covered with it as much pepper as she could. Hmm. Hmm. I see mm. something I want to try. Hmm. Okay, awkward <laughs> silence. <laughs> hey, what's with the silent treatment? Um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Wright. You have done quite a girl of figuring a criminal. Out of curiosity, what was her crime? Curiosity. Sorry. <laughs> um, Miss Barry gave a pepper covered scarf to bed as a present. Where is the crime in that? Still seems like the judge doesn't get it. <sighs> Mr. Phoenix, right? 
Wasn't it sad that the lion seemed to be smiling? Mm. Mm. Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and it looked like he was smiling. Lion smile? I never heard of them smiling, however. Lions sneeze. Leon wasn't trying to bite Bat at all. In reality, he actually did uh, was a sneeze. Okay, I didn't press. What the fuck? He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf. What? Uh, you fool! You gotta be kidding me. What's the matter, Miss Forkama? I, I, I object for objection shake. Mr. Phoenix White, you're Terry. You believe it? You really intend to say that this is a joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. Lion sees do the pepper when that's when Bad lost consciousness. I got nearly, nearly lost his blood due to this accent or this joke as you pull it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot. <laughs> no foolish fool that time. Yeah. Bro? <laughs> it almost does sound like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what the, that what I was said was true? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, you didn't mean, you can't mean witness. Are you confirming that the defense claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going. But it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I dropped Max's bust on the top of the ringmaster. Where is the evidence that proves that claim? Uh... Mm, you mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon of the lag theory of a more proceeds. Murder weapon. The bus that, that the defense claims was used to be found in Agro's room. But if it was covered in the victim's blood, that should be awful conclusive in my eyes. Yes, that will be. Bust. You gotta do something! This is the last step. If I get this one right, case is closed. Case is wrong. Uh, I have to pick our, this one first. It might be worthwhile to search Agro's room, but. Why aren't you going to search his room? It looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Now you know the true meaning of Von Karma Total's justice. I guess I figured out with you that's 
At least I should uh, expect it. You, you know, stone unturned. Avon Karma never leaves anything to change. We already such aqua room yesterday. What did you find? There's no reason to even say it. We found that you think you found in that room. Aqua would be here as a witness. Not be here as a witness. But to a pointer, Mask Burst was not in the room. Murder weapon is still in and accounted for. You see, Mr. Wright. The bus wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe has secured the search by complete surprise. And we took Agros directly after the prosecutor's office after that. <laughs> End of study. Just wait a second, something's funny about all this. <laughs> uh, looks like you like the final nail to put into my coffin. What about, what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here... Mm. Is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster? You should know that by now. Ah. Do something there! Don't let this case slip away! The burst! Where is it now? Hmm, where is the bus right now? The phone is right! You know where the bus is! I'm sure you do! There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bus is? Seems this case is coming to a close. The defendant corner arguments has fallen short. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Ah. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings us to the end of the comedy of this witness. Is Mark's burst. The defenders need time to prepare the present us lace. I mean case, sorry, I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. I love my flower I do I did I come back too. What? Why are you most surprised person here? She's your aid, isn't she? Do you really need to have a case presented, Mr. Wright? What? Are you asking me? This was up to you, Nick. Good luck! Hey, wait. You can't be serious. Aquas always have their lips on their lines, don't they? That's how Aquas lived his life up until now. It's a time for us to walk across our own tight rope. If we don't, we certainly need to lose. Very well, the defense may proceed. Bro. Just a sec. I'm checking on Raven. He doesn't have a clue. And I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking on the tightrope logic, there's no room for the false step. Sink or sin, the only way to for it is forward. The murder weapon. Where is Mark's burst now? Somewhere in the escort room. It's obvious the bus is inside this very courtroom. It's obvious where. 
Allow me to pinpoint where the location of the burst is. Uh... Oh. It's got to be the winner's stand. It has to be, because that would be where he's sitting, right? Yep, but let's do a little bit of fun, if we can. No! This is why I say there's a reason. Uh, SM, uh, what, what are you st stop talking all of a sudden? Well, I'm not really sure if I should say anything. Uh, I don't know you're on bench! You have to think about it whenever is a good idea! Whoa! What do you say to me? That's a penalty! Ah! What's that? You wanted a double? Here I go! Double! Ah! Damn it! That's why I saved. This court has no reason for a prologue this trial. There's no other need to further delay the case against the defendant. The case is extremely clear. There is no room for misrepresentation of the facts. This court found the defendant, Mr. Bill Bob Johns. Uh oh, we made him guilty. No worries, that's why I saved. Accusement will surrender to the court immediately. Trial of pending trial at the higher court within the month on today's date. That's all. Why are you making the my window? Hey, you're standing there. There was a uh, particular reason for that. That seems not to be the trigger. Acro, I'm sorry to ask you this, but do you mind if I take a, a blank off your wheelchair? Hmm. Bro? Mm. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Bart. Well, are you a big guy and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it? I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under the blanket. You seem that really is to say hide a bust under there. <laughs> Once again, your pension for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lighthearted it is, change the fact that the bus is under there. Mm -hmm. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in the, your condition. It was in that when Miss Foreman Karma happened to search your room yesterday. You found the murder weapon in your room. It should be. It should be, have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it. The only place where you could, could hide it, underneath your wheelchair. Hmm. Which is why I grow. I have to ask you again. Will you please remove your blankets from your lap? Hmm. Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. We got him! Right-handed. You! You fool! How could you? You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Francesca von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch this a surprise search on my room last night? Mm -hmm. There were two pieces of decisive evidence, the cloak and the bus. I burnt the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bus... Obviously, I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bus. 
and the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. So, you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Hmm, that makes not... It all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought her far ahead. It's amazing! Uh-huh, you definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I she... Know I'm pure. That was my line. <laughs> I can't believe it. Me? Make a mistake? Why did I order to surprise such you in your womb if I hadn't done that? It seems we finally arrived to the truth. Acro? Yes, Your Honor? Did you kill the ringmaster of the big bear? Very big circus, Miss. Mr. Russell Berry? Yes, you are. I'm responsible for that crime. Agro. Hmm. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he needed to tease her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. That's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. But, I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star, Regina Blaze, and that so purely. That she would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decide to do something about Regina. How dreadful. So you're saying that the, you're the victim in this, of this as well? No, that's not what I mean. What the fuck? He's I'm crying. nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first, I thought I'd kill myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. But I couldn't just up and leave. I couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried. To pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. I just, I just, I just couldn't up and leave yet. This has been such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of it, the circus itself. I'm an idiot. I can't believe it. You beat me again. I can. I believe this case is now beyond on the point of possible decision. Thus, I like to declare my verdict. Not guilty. Who? Yeah. We promise you not to be guilty.
<sighs> Maximilian Galaxia. Mm -mm, for a fabulous boy. How fabulous. The court is adjourned. Poor thing. Hmm. Fabulous! Finally fixed what I was trying to fix. But to be honest, I can't really to be too happy about this. Code of Ringmaster Regina and Bat. I think not one of them was a bad person inside, huh? That's a good question, and the one I don't know the answer to. Many gracious, but only at next a million of them. Th thank you. <sighs> What's with the five in this room? We are just thinking about Aqua. No, 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 no. If you worry about the people too, too much, you'll be like this forever. You'll never be happy. Huh? Okay, why did we make her cry? <laughs> She's upset about what happened in court. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> She's been like this for a while now. What do you want to know, Regina? I could say something right at the end. Bro? I just couldn't up and leave yet. Does that mean that I grow? It's going to try I got this revenge on me? I don't think so. I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, he's not going to do that to you, Regina. You sure? You really sure? I can't believe that. Yep, Agro doesn't have any desire to or his revenge anymore. If that's true, <coughs> then I want to see some evidence. Huh? Just making off this step about Agro not wanting revenge. Agro didn't want you to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brothers. I was opening his eyes again. The bat. That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. I never knew. Now that I'm 
was being cut. Uh huh. Oh. What? Do it. I stay next to that as long as it takes. Until he opens his eyes. Until that. Until I can meet Aqua again. That's so sweet of you, Regina. Sorry, Aqua. I'm sorry, Bat. Well, hopefully this is enough for her to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max. What is it, Mole? We really put a ear through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry for, about what happened. So whatever you like to leave us, I will pay your fee and rip up, up the contract. I understand. What a family thing to do that for me. I might even leave tomorrow. Hmm. What's going to happen to the circus now? Um, uh, that's a big question. Oh, Rimeza is really an amazing person, wasn't he? Huh? Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performance, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I made up my decision. What is it? I decided I will take over the, as the new ring ringmaster. I will turn this circus into the best circus this world has ever seen! Mm, that's the best circus the world has ever been seen. Don't laugh. That's quite a goal. Yeah, I can't wait. Then I guess that changed things. Oh? There's only one thing the best circus of the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means the circus needs the best magicking the world has ever seen. Max? Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um, Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to the court today? We're gonna work together to make the big, very big circus to bigger than it was ever before. Most white, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circus without Regina, Barry. Nick. It seems like everything is going to turn out all right. Can't wait to see the best circus in the world has ever seen. We will save you the most fabulous seats. Hey, hey. Oh wait, hey, that was my life. <laughs> yeah, we sorry. Are the you can <laughs> take his. <laughs> you can take his then. Oh my God! Look at the ring. I'm going to a special whoopee and cause your seats! I can't oh, take this no. service anymore! <laughs> that is a happy ending. Oh, oh my switching. Yeah, I'll figure that it was just a terry. You right? <gasps> Somebody's coming back, coming back, back, coming back, coming back. Oh, look, bro. Somebody's <laughs> back. I thought he, he was dead. You know, you know what he did? He helped Phoenix. He helped Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Episode three. 
end. And look who we have! Yay! For the next Bye. episode! Episode 4. Farewell, my turnabout. Oh, this is so good. We finally made it. We finally did it. That was a crazy one, that one. Uh uh well guys this is sadly it sorry it's like two hours but we wanted to finish this case we wanted to know what happened we i couldn't sit still for that i had to Maximum know galaxy, uh, i will never forget so yeah guys this is sadly it for now and we hope to see you next week if you like the content so far feel free to leave a follow or subscribe you can also go to twitch.tv says megaman dragonoid or See what a hedgehog on TV and art. Well, I was actually talking about Twitch. Ah, uh, Twitch, I don't have. Nope. Oh, I have just parodies minor on Twitch. That's where we stream. And if you want to see our art, go to deviantart.com and search up our names by Mega Man Dragonoid or. See what a hedgehog. Or. Or Dr. Chester the First. There you go. So have a nice day. Have a nice week. Peace, my Dragonites. Peace.